I wasn't going to make a video about this but since I have my camera and I have a channel so I might as well show you guys what I'm doing but I'm making a workbench uh, I already have one in my studio it was on wheels but it kind of outgrown of what it can do for me I need something bigger and timber is really expensive at the moment so there's a couple of loft extension here and what they do is they take out the timber and then they put in the skip the reason they skip it is because there's loads of nails in there but I don't mind a bit of uh, labor intensive work so that's what I did so I took loads of uh, timber um, actually just across the road so I just go there and um, rummage through the skip the owner was actually really happy about it because then uh, he don't feel so guilty about wasting it and uh, I can make something useful out of it hopefully timber come in various sizes so this is one of those obviously this is a cut down version and I have a lot more like longer pieces as well now some of them has um, notches and uh, cuts in them so I just have to make do with what I have um, I didn't really have a plan I mean I know what kind of dimension I want so I just a simple drawing make sure that you know it's square and that's it uh, let me bring over the rest of them and you can have a look now the thing about reclaimed uh, timber is that you can have a choice of what you get so here almost like a 4x4 four four. there's a bit of a uh, crack running down the middle but as a table leg this is perfectly fine you can see those big ass nails sticking out from the front of it now those are a bit of a problem so I'm going to just saw off the end here is I don't even know what size is this but again you can see nails there I really took out most of the nail on this side now they are really really dusty and um, I have no idea if they are treated or not but they have been used as a uh, truss and joys inside the loft so I don't think they are treated so um, let's see what I can do with them and this is a jar of uh, nails which I took out from the timber um, they probably have to go in the skip at some point but you can see some big ass nail here which I took out still got more to do though when I say you don't have a choice of different type of timber this is exactly what I mean so here obviously they cut out the notch you see ah, uh, and you can see nails sticking out everywhere I probably won't use this piece of wood unless I'm desperate but as a cross section of a table this part is perfectly fine so here is all the timber that I'm going to use today there's more than enough to make a simple workbench I do have a uh, pie wood sheet that I'm going to use as a tabletop but my pie wood sheet is really thin so I do need to make a very good frame but the top layer is disposable anyway so even if um, I need to change it I will just change it to a new sheet of MDF as such so those are almost like 4x4 four four. they will be nice uh, square table legs if I can make 4 out of them and then you move on to uh, they, they look like 3x2 or maybe a bit more but these wood are like you know 40 or 50 years old or more because the house around here is built in the 1930s and they're the original roof trusses and then you have the thinner here I think this one will be good for uh, the braces and uh, most of the cutting today will be done by my trusty Dewalt so first I need to make sure they are workable so this piece of wood is what I have been working on for the last like 5-10 minutes and this is the one how it came now this is the right size or right length for a table leg and what I did is I used a planer just to plane off the surface and make sure there's no nails there's still lots of holes in it and there's a big crack in the middle but for the strength going downwards this is perfectly fine So here we are it's very satisfying so uh, my table length is going to be 150 
centimeters long. So these are the two long pieces. These are the legs. So um, this one, I cut it down to 87, I think. And then plus uh, the wheels, the caster wheel over here on the bottom, which is about 10 and a half. These two are the length. And then in terms of the width of the table, so these are cut it down to 80. So I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces here to spread out throughout the table as a raft. And then I have these two long lengths. So 150 by 90 width and 90 free height. Put these together and then make some base truss and then lay the table on top. Sounds easy, right? But under this hot weather, everything takes extra effort. One of the problems with working with reclaimed um, timber and don't have the proper equipment is that none of this face is now square. So what does it mean is that, you know, there is like an even gap on all the surfaces. So, you know, it's really hard to get a very square kind of a, a table. The only thing I can do right now is to make sure that, you know, the face of this um, uh, wood is as level as possible and you can see that i have carpet here so you know it's, even that is not ideal but you know this is what you have to make do with i mean if i have a uh, planar uh, thickness thickness nicer that would be great wouldn't it then i can actually make the timber to the right size and square them off at the moment i just have to make do with what i got so you can tell that you know this one here there's a bow in the middle of the wood is sometimes they are twisted and bowed as well so um, let's see what the end result is. And now the legs is going on. Now I won't bother to straighten them for now. I'll do that at the last step because I still have to put the braces on. When I put the braces on, then I can make sure that they are kind of like, you know, vertical. So nearly done now. So uh, I started this morning at, uh, I think, uh, nine o'clock. It is now two in the afternoon. I did have lunch as well. Um, after I put the bottom uh, braces on, now it's kind of uh, all straight and all vertical. I did check on level, they are vertical now. Uh, it's hard to get everything square because none of these would have a square edge anyway, so it's almost like random. But uh, what I did is I added some of these L brackets. So I put them in all the important junction, all the load bearing, and um, I kind of used my uh, spirit level to make sure that it's all straight before I screw them on. But now it's so solid that it won't move anymore. It is quite heavy and um, I'm going to put some caster wheels on top. And then I'm going to bring the bottom sheet pry on top. It's very thin pie, but it should be okay because there's not a lot of space between the raft at the moment. And I'm not going to put anything heavy on it for now. Eventually, I'll replace it with a thicker MDF or a thicker pry, but it depends on where I can get them from. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, this is quite heavy though, but it's a good thing. Strong bots. It's the only thing to make sure the wheels doesn't give. A lot of the time when we put caster wheel on wood, timber, the screw will just um, completely gone. So today we're going to use blots. Instead, I pre-drill them already so it doesn't split the wood. I don't think that's going to go anywhere anytime soon. So this is a full size sheet and I need to make a cut here. So we cover the table. This is only like a uh, five mil, is it five? Yeah, I think this is a five mil pie wood. So it's very thin, but like I say, I do have a lot of support on it. So um, let's earn some danger money. Now I built this platform so I'm sure it's not going to collapse on me, right? If it is, it will make 
good YouTube video, I guess. I think that is going to that is going to rip a bit, but never mind. Okay, so one of the good thing about using reclaimed wood is that you have all this pretty wood grain effect. Now those white wood there, they are untreated and are planed off the dust and coating on top. So those are kind of 40 years ago, 50 years ago, all the dust accumulated. And here we have wood stained, just one coat to bring out the grains. And this is what I use. Shouldn't take long. I'm going to finish the rest of the table to give it some color. Well, it has been a very productive day for me today. Now I'm all cleaned up and I'm having my uh, favorite beverages to just relax a little bit and finish off my video. Okay, so here's the workbench. I will just put a can of Coke there for size reference. Uh, basically is all reclaim the wood. And you can see that like almost like four by four size of uh, post and legs. And then you have um, this, I think this is like a roof truss or roof joist. The top, unfortunately I have to be a uh, board because I couldn't, I don't have a van, so I can't really get big sheets material. But I use the cheapest or the, the lowest grade pie wood and it's very thin pie wood. So that's why I have to have extra rafter in between. But overall, very easy to make. Uh, literally uh, took me a day so um, in the morning I was taking out all the nails now I won't I, I didn't even board it to uh, you know file all the holes and stuff like that I think it's just some characters for the wood look that is a big massive hole there as well and some of the wood have a really chunk missing but as a workbench it doesn't really matter and I do think it actually shows uh, some character of the wood. Just imagine, the wood in Pat's wood has been chopped down like 90 years ago. Um, you know, someone cut it down 90 years ago and made them into our houses. It's just a shame that they're going into the landfill because they are perfectly fine timber. I have some shelves underneath um, for my uh, tools. Uh, I like the big access hole here so I can get to my tools easier. I do need to learn how to uh, use a uh, table saw and I do want one of those uh, that you can adjust up and down and um, have a slot here and then just rip wood on that direction. I think that would be nice. So I managed to find some wheels and these are lockable ones so you know when you need to use it just release it using your feet. Don't know if I can take it. Yeah so once you unlock the wheels you can actually pull that out. So in the future, if I want to uh, do something in the garden, I can actually roll this out into the garden or I can actually work with a uh, bigger sheets material here. I can pop it against my uh, workbench and then I uh, have a long kind of a runway system. I already start to accessorize my table. So now I have access to uh, my air compressor. And you can see I got a power kind of extension strip, just Velcro to the side. So I have enough sockets.
for all my power tools. And this is the back of the bench. Nothing fancy at all for now, but I do want to add some tools into my table. I mean, my studio um, is not very big, so um, I already have a small bench here. It's, again, it's like kind of reclaimed wood, but I really need a smooth space to build stuff. I want to make coffee tables out of uh, timber as such. I still got a lot of timber left. It is a lot of hard work though, to get all the nails out and then uh, plane them down. I wish I have a planer so I can uh, plane them to the right size and square and all that. But for now, that will do. The good thing about it on wheels is that when I finish, I just need to push it back against the wall. I try and lock, not lock anything. I'm glad I did something for the environment and thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.